Gill. Welcome to Verkan Gardens. So we are talking about I'm going to downsize the nursery itself to a point where I can manage a little better as I get older and older. But we're going to continue on with some of the young grafts and, and create an online presence with, uh, and it's not going to be huge. We're not looking to become, um, you know, one of the larger um, type nurseries that do online sales of uh, conifers and Japanese maples. But this is, these are two year grafts that certainly could be shipped. We're looking at doing um, container sizes like this that are one and two year grafts. And, um, and then having a, I'd like to get some input too from comments. If you could comment down below and, and let, give me some input if you'd be interested. So our, our thought is to do a grouping of uh, four. You can choose four different conifers and um, we can ship them four for $99, including shipping as our, our intent. So we'll have more information on that, but I'd, I'd like to have your input and then we'll have a variety of conifers I have. I'm not gonna do the grafting myself. I have Dave Helms. I've got several other wholesalers that do grafting that I can um, get uh, young grass from so um but at at that price point i don't think there's anybody out there where you can you can get a young plant a starter plant at an affordable price shipped to you and we can use uh the the postal service and the first class mail to get it to you in a in quick order and we ship in the fall and then in the spring so that that's our plan and we'll see how that develops and we'll have more information on that but um, the main reason I'm putting this video out there is just to get some comments from some of you, the conifer collectors, and also we'll do some maples at some point. So I don't know if we'll do it this year, but so we're planning on having a list available in August for shipping and sometime in September. So let me know what you think. Looks like Travis has got a fire going. We're going to check on him. So we're allowed to burn up here and you can have a small fire without a permit and you can, uh, if, if you have a larger fire when it gets bigger than what they consider four by four, um, you, you need to have a permit and the fire marshal has to come out and approve it and, and then you have to have a piece of equipment on standby with a fire hose and all that. So, so we'll go see what it, Travis is doing here. It's a cold day in Mount Vernon. I think in the was it low 40s today. And yesterday morning it actually froze here. There was ice. You have ice on your windshield yesterday. Did you have ice on your windshield? No, no. Tate did. Yeah. So um, actually, this is nice. This is Max is where you need to be. So, so we just keep. So with a small fire, we just keep feeding the feeding the branches onto the fire. So. Travis using his new electric saw. So we need to keep the fire manageable at four four. Let that burn down to some coals and and then uh, just keep feeding it. But um, if we had an excavator here, we could burn this whole pile here in um, a few hours to maybe a day or so. So so why do we have to why do we have so much Around here, well, there's just a lot of trees that have gotten too big and too crowded, and we're going to start thinning some of that out and, and creating um, more manageable areas that we can can deal with. So, you know, the front yard has a lot of overgrown trees as well. So you can see the amount of debris that we um, have around Brooklyn Gardens here with trees that get older and then they get shaded out by larger trees. I'm right. Um, you can see the large trees behind me and then there's a large beech tree that we'll get a shot of that just shades out everything and and um, 
they just get over overcrowded. So, um, so that's the reason we have to deal with all that debris, whether it's chipping or burning. But that's just something that that goes along with having um, an older nursery that needs to be rejuvenated somewhat. So there's lots of wood debris on the, on the property that uh, we have to deal with and and get this cleaned up. So. Um, don't know what Travis will do with it, you know, with the property. Right now, we just uh, put this into grass and mow it. And um, and then, you know, it's just a, a nice Skagit Valley farm soil down here. So you, you can grow anything you want. So hope you enjoyed that. And we might give you a few uh, shots in closing here, too. So thanks for watching.